Bonjour, I'm Camille, and this is my go-to Paris Fashion Week look. So I'll put my hair up before I wash my face. It's cute, okay. So I wet my fingers. So the cleanser kind of sets in, and then I wash it off. Yeah, and I pat dry. I like to use uh, the Hyaluronic Acid by Dr. Barbara Sturm. <laughs> so I'll leave these on for, you know, however time I have. It says 20 minutes. I'll sometimes do more, sometimes less, depending. So I like these guys. They're easy to travel with. They're liquid. And I swear I never, ever get sick. I look like a little animal right now. Mm. Yeah, it's not great. This helps with unpuffing. Um, I like, I get a really sore neck, so I really like to get in here. It's all super natural ingredients. So the cream was made by a woman who got breast cancer and she created this cream. 10% of the proceeds go to Cedar sinai cancer research, so that's nice. It's quite, um, it's very, very hydrating and also, I don't know, it, it's, it leaves your skin, it's like a very nice texture on your skin, but you really have to rub it in. I pick at my face constantly and so then I get little scabs and it's really good for just healing. I should get more facials. I just, I like, I like popping my own pimples, so I feel like when I go and get a facial and they do it for me, it's really annoying. <laughs> I'd rather do it myself. I have this big um, hormonal pimple that showed up this morning, including this one. Look, I buy this in French pharmacies, Examedine. Um, it's really good for kind of under the skin pimples, so like this one in particular. Because of lack of sleep, I, I'll put a little bit of, I'll put some eye drops in. I quite like these, these are also from a French pharmacy. They said that actresses in the 50s would put them in their eyes because they make them look blue, but I don't, I haven't noticed that. <laughs> then I'll put on some eye cream. I like this Biologie Recherche one. I mean, French pharmacies are... I, I love walking in and just... I, I buy a lot of random stuff. There's more pharmacies than bakeries even in Paris. My mother's really into skincare. She got melanoma a few times and so she kind of freaked me out. So now I'm... I'm so I'm quite scared of the sun and put on so much sunscreen daily. Wear sunscreen because then you get wrinkles, you don't want wrinkles, <laughs> yada yada. French, I love cheese. I will say sugar though, if I eat a lot of sugar, um, I will get a pimple. So I try and like not eat too much sugar. I don't love to exercise, but I walk and I swim. Um, and like once a month I'll go boxing. Because the go-to look is a red lip, uh, I think it's pretty important to scrub your lips. This is just um, Vaseline and sugar, which you can, uh, which I make myself. It's very easy to make. This is also a Biologique uh, lip balm that I love. I'll put some on my cuticles too, because I pick at those. So I keep my eyebrows pretty natural, but there are like a few little guys. I let a makeup artist squeeze my eyebrows once and I just, it, it got really 90s. My mom cuts my hair and she only wants to cut it on a full moon because she says it grows longer and thicker. So I don't get to see my mom that often, maybe like three, four times a year. So the, the odds that I see her on a full moon and I can actually get a haircut are quite low. So makeup. I don't mind a few imperfections. I don't put, I like um, foundation, but I kind of use it more as a concealer than foundation. I feel like people are like, ooh, French beauty, they don't do anything. But I think it's more about uh, looking as natural as possible. At the end of the day, I'd rather look like I have no makeup on. And if you go to a party and you look like you have no makeup, it's a win-win situation because you're either like, oh, she looks amazing and she doesn't have any makeup or, 
wow, she's not wearing any makeup and she still has the balls to show up. You know, she's so confident. I like this Westman Atelier Concealer. It's a little, it's a little thick, which is nice for our front here. I don't usually break out as much as this. I just, I don't, I, I have okay skin, it's just not, not this week. Um, so for my brows, I don't, I don't actually like to fill them in that much. I have a scar here um, that I kind of just like to pinch rather than fill in. Um, but I do like to put a little um, clear brow mascara. I like these Laura Mercier ones. And then the great thing about these too is if you get a little, if you get little red marks, oh, and now it's a freckle. Maybe, should we turn him into a freckle? No, I, I just need to commit to the fact that I have a pimple in the middle of my face. This is called contouring. I'm one of those humans, but I sort of just use it more as, uh, a bronzer. I'll do a little pink, a little brown. I use the same brush for everything, which clearly maybe is not a good idea. And voila, it's like I spent the whole entire day in the sun and I like to um, kind of pinch the brush and put it right in the crease of the nose, like a little line. Ooh, that was, that's a bit aggressive. Okay. <laughs> Um, so it looks like you have like a little sunburn, it's so cute, but I don't get sunburns because I wear so much sunscreen. Um, so I cheat a sunburn. Voila. I usually don't put on very much mascara, but I always, always, always curl my lashes. I feel like it just wakes you up. Donc, let's try and do this. When I first moved to Los Angeles, I got hair extensions and eyelash extensions <laughs> because when in Rome. I did a hair job and they dyed it uh, five times in three hours and it just all fell out so I didn't have any hair for a while and I put a few extensions which was nice but it's it's too high maintenance for me um, but it, it did feel nice to have hair again. It was actually traumatizing to lose hair. I like mascara when it's a bit dry because otherwise it sort of just gets everywhere. Like I try and take off as much as possible, but not too much. So just, just the top. I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter on my eyelids. So this is kind of a, like a goldy situation, but I like, I like this guy because I feel like it looks a bit wet, if that makes sense. I love some highlighter. I found this little guy. Um, I've never heard of it before, but I think it's a fantastic highlighter. Yeah, I'd rather my skin look a bit dewy than matte. I love a red lip. I mix a lot of colors. I, I usually quite like a sort of orangey red. So I think today I wanted to, oh! I mean, Dior makes it great. They make a great red one. I like the 999, which is sort of the classic red, but we can mix it with... That's also, let's put this one aside. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so we're gonna mix maybe a bit of this and a bit of these. Uh, okay. I, li I like a stain, but not for tonight. So tonight we're going out. Uh, the technique to apply lipstick is no technique. I mean, a lot of my fingers are involved. I follow my natural lip line to start, and then I kind of like tap over it so it looks uh, like a softer line. This is quite nice, but I think we want a little bit more. Look, a little bit of this guy. Maybe let's add a little dark. It's okay if it's not perfect, no? I'm gonna make out tonight anyway, so it'll be all over my face. And then, because I love a blush. Okay, then we, I can. 
hair. <laughs> well, that was so creepy. Did you, I, I looked like um, Willem Dafoe in Wild at Heart. Great film, but he's creepy in that. So I kind of wet the bottoms because they get a bit frizzy. And then up a bit the top. La. Look, it's kind of wet. Put a little bit of serum in the end. And here. Comes up. And then I put it behind my ears. I put on a hat. It kind of makes the top sort of close to my head and flattens it. And then I'm, I kind of make a wave here and I put it down. Up. And then I twist the back and put it up in the hat because my hair is super flat and it gives it a nice little wave. So then I just wait a little bit until it sort of dries, but not too dry. So it's been a few minutes, I can take it off. Okay, so this looks kind of weird, <laughs> but it kind of gives it the shape I like. I'll maybe brush it a little bit more. My hair gets really tangled very easily, very fast, so um, I'll try to make it as clean as possible before I go out and um, and because I flattened the top I quite like just in the back riding it a tiny bit um, just give it a little bit more volume but no, no don't quite I don't like it here I like it in the back and then for the time being I'll just put it behind my ears so that when I Take it out, it'll be, there's, it'll be even more of a bend. So then there's two sprays that I like to use. I usually don't use them at the same time. Biologique one, um, which is honestly a game changer on an airplane. It's super, super hydrating. Voila. So that feels good. I feel like it just adds extra moisture. And then this guy by Caudalie. Um, it smells really nice and I feel like it just like kind of w wakes you up so I I'll keep that in my purse and do it a bunch throughout the evening. Thank you so much for watching. This is the final look and um, yeah, merci beaucoup. Bisous! <laughs>